Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you a very beautiful SKME watch that looks absolutely incredible. But the big question is, will this watch meet the hammer of justice at the end of the video? And that's a serious question, because those were my first thoughts when I took this watch out of the packaging. I gonna freaking beat this watch at the end of the video, that's what I was thinking. But after wearing this watch for a while, I actually changed my opinion. So. Let's get into details, I will show you everything. Let me get back straight to the point and explain you why those were my initial thoughts. And in this video I won't need this hammer. So when I took this watch out of the box I was really surprised how sharp is the bracelet. The outer edges on the sides are sharp but they are not horrible. They are not horrible. What is horrible are the edges in between the links especially those very very corners it's super sharp and when you put this watch on the wrist it pulls hair like 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 crazy it feels absolutely horrible it hurts it really hurts and this watch comes with butterfly clasp which means it doesn't have any micro adjustments i got lucky i took all the links necessary and the fitment is just absolutely perfect and i have been wearing this watch and i feel no discomfort when this watch is on the wrist because it stays in place and I have perfect fitment but that is luck based system you might not gonna get perfect fitment it might gonna be too tight or too loose for you and if it's gonna be too loose the watch is gonna be sliding on the wrist pulling here and poking your skin it's just gonna be horrible so keep that in mind before buying this watch another two problems with the bracelet is that the gap between the case and the bracelet is really noticeable. When I look at this watch, all I see is this stupid gap. I don't know, maybe that's how it's supposed to be, maybe it's just the styling, but I really don't like this joint between the case and the bracelet. Another problem is that the case itself is chrome plated alloy and the bracelet is stainless steel, brushed stainless steel. And the color difference between bracelet and the case is very noticeable in person. It looks like I took this bracelet off of another watch and somehow managed to fit into this watch. It looks homemade. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't look good. That's about it. All bad problems. Other problems are very minor and everything else is just brilliant. This watch looks incredible, very beautiful, one of the best looking dials I have ever seen and all the shiny surfaces play very nicely with the light. This watch is an eye candy. This watch has some loom but nothing too impressive. I'm actually surprised that this watch has any loom at all. This is very beautiful watch but in this video you're definitely gonna notice the difference between bracelet and the case this gap right now you see and the color difference hold on a second you will soon right now right now you see the color difference between the case and the bracelet it's really noticeable but if you can see pass through those negatives this is really beautiful watch very beautiful watch you have to trust me on this this is one of the best looking blue dials i have ever seen it's like on the same level as orient ray 2 or Cadison with the date function. Those are very beautiful watches with blue dials. This one is incredible, completely at that level. Now, while you look at this beautiful dial, let me inspect the crown action. Crown feels simply wonderful, as good as you can expect. Very well dampened. Ratio is simply wonderful. I need to turn crown quite a lot for the minute hand to move. There is no free play. Well, there is a little bit of free play, but in comparison to other watches, there is almost none. And uh, now, let's set on 45. All the hands stay in place. Wonderful. Let's try again. Pushing the crown, everything stays in place. Amazing. I really like how the crown feels like. Now, let's change the date. It has two languages. Something and English. Something and English. I also can change the date. Let's see how it flips the date over the midnight. Okay, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and at 10 p.m. it starts engaging the date. It flips the date, and after the midnight it starts engaging the day. Flips the day on 3 a.m. 
I really struggled to give you a nice shot of this watch. Under studio lights, under natural lights, I changed the brightness adjustments and everything. I just can't get the right shot as it looks like in person. You would see this watch in person, you couldn't believe how beautiful this dial is. And this case, it's unbelievable. I mean, look at this case as well, how slim it is. How well it sits on my wrist, even though it kind of looks a little bit too big for me as a dress watch. It still sits so nicely on the wrist, it's incredible. This case looks incredible. And the dial is simply wonderful with this brushed finishing under this dome mineral crystal. This dome mineral crystal really enhances the playfulness of this blue dial. It looks simply unbelievable, but you have to see this watch in person. Now I just found the perfect angle to show you the watch, how the dial actually looks like. Look, it goes from completely almost black to super nice blue. It's such a nice transition, especially under this dome the mineral crystal. It's just amazing. But under this beautiful light, I have found one problem. Um, well, nothing unusual on ultra cheap watches. I don't know if you can see. But we don't have a dust. We have an actual hair on the dial. Oh my god, that's a little bit nasty. That's a little bit nasty on the first o'clock index C. That's quite a big chunk of hair. Okay, let's disassemble this watch and clean it. completely fresh nicely screw screw down case back very very unusual on ultra cheap watch to see something like this what the f why how is it so tight is it really a screw down? Are you freaking kidding me? It's not a screw down case bag. What the fuck? Look, there is a pin to open this. Jesus fucking. Man, I may gonna change my mind. I still have a hammer next next to me on the table. This is ridiculous. What the hell? This is ridiculous. It's a fake screw down case bag. What the fuck? Really beautiful thing to look at. Really beautiful thing. Perfectly clean. Very nice. Okay, it's time to rate this watch. Where this watch goes on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. Initially, I thought I'm gonna place this watch into nope tier. And right now, I have changed my mind. It's not that bad. So that's where it goes. Not bad. It's beautiful enough to get into keepers, but technically not good enough for the keepers. So not bad it is. Thank you for watching, have a beautiful day, goodbye.